Good morning and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Vicky and welcome to a what I eat in a day high protein edition as per usual. And I'm also gonna do a little bit of meal prepping because I have an office day tomorrow. So just thought I'd bring you guys along for a day of kind of what I eat, nothing crazy, pretty much the same thing week on week with a couple changes, but I am gonna start with a typical breakfast because it just makes me happy and that's what I feel like, but I'm gonna have oatmeal, um, some protein oatmeal, and then, but today it's gonna be a little bit fun, a little bit different because we're gonna make a slow cooker meal, I think. Um, I bought all the ingredients for it last night and I kinda need to start that this morning, so I'm just gonna have my breakfast and start work and then I will um, put that on a little bit later. And then, yeah, I'll just bring you guys along for kinda what I eat today. Nothing crazy, but I like watching these videos. I hope you guys like watching these videos. I haven't done one in a little while and I just enjoy them. But yeah, as a disclaimer, obviously I am not a dietitian, not a nutritionist, not a specialist in any of these things. I just love food, love fueling my body and love watching this content and creating it. So that's me, that's my spiel for this morning. I'm drinking my coffee. <gasps> I forgot it in the other room. I'm not drinking my coffee. <laughs> I'm drinking decaf coffee this morning because my coffee machine is broken and the only other coffee that I had was decaf um, But let's get started. Let's make our oatmeal. I'm gonna do protein oats with my favorite oh, good Lord. My favorite protein this morning, which is the shreddy chocolate cookie dough protein Which I never thought would be my favorite. I used to be like a vanilla girl through and through but this just makes your oatmeal or your like yogurt or overnight oats, whatever. Tastes so friggin' good. Um, oh my God, and I get to put this on top. The best almond butter of all time from Target. Dark chocolate creamy almond butter. I haven't had it in a couple of days either because I was having overnight oats and I didn't use it. Oh, so good. Wish you guys could smell it and taste it. <laughs> but okay, let's get these oats going. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm honestly so hungry right now, but, and these blueberries are so good. Mm. With the yogurt and the almond butter and the fruit, you honestly just can't beat a breakfast like this. And this is like 35 grams of protein with the protein powder, the Greek yogurt, and the almond butter. So it's a really good start to your morning. <laughs> and it's so good. I'm gonna have this, finish my coffee, and I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Okay, I lied to you guys. I told you that I'd be back at lunch, but I'm back before lunch because I forgot we have to put all my stuff in the crock pot or the slow cooker before um, we get going with the day. So we're gonna do that now and then that'll be cooking all day. I'm just gonna put it on slow because it's still early and then we'll have that for dinner and then I will check in with you guys when I have actual lunch. But I thought I would bring you guys along for the making of the chicken stew. So I just have like a, <clears throat> a recipe from Pinterest. And I'm gonna get the, the slow cooker out. And then we're just gonna follow the recipe. And I did like make a couple little adjustments. She told, she said to get chicken thighs, but I just got chicken breast. And I couldn't find any chicken broth at the grocery store yesterday, but I have vegetable stock. So I'm just gonna use that. And um, there was like a couple seasonings that I didn't have. So it's probably not gonna be as flavorful as hers, but that's fine. I'm not picky and i think it'll still be good and i'm just gonna throw my own little spin on it but i'm gonna follow the recipe um i honestly haven't used a, a slow cooker or like a crock pot in years so this will be interesting but i kind of just want to like listen to music or watch a little youtube video or something while i cook so i'm just gonna put you guys on a time lapse and walk you through the recipe later um but for now and also i'll probably spare you the like raw chicken portion of that because i already am dreading like having to touch the raw chicken i literally hate cooking chicken but here we are we are facing our fears and that's all that matters so let's get there mm, oh god this is gonna make everything drop is it oh, i'm scared <laughs> ah! that wasn't actually that bad sorry everyone for the drama okay Let's get this stew on the go. Oh. 
Okay guys, this is my first time ever making a voiceover, so we'll see how this goes, but we just have to get out all the ingredients first. I mean, you don't have to do it all first, but I like to just have it all laid out in front of me so that it's just a little bit easier to start the process. Um, this was just a chicken stew recipe that my sister sent me that I also found on like all over Pinterest actually. Um, and it's really simple. That's coming from me, like this was, this did not take a long time. So we just get all of the ingredients. It's just like potatoes, carrots, chicken, some spices, flour, garlic, and I didn't show a couple of things, but you'll see throughout the process. So you just have to start by peeling the potatoes. She says to use like two large potatoes. Um, I think she said russet, but I have no idea what these ones were. It just said big, like large yellow potatoes or something like that. So anyway, hopefully these ones are good because as of right now, I haven't tried the stew yet. I'm just doing the voiceover right now. So you just have to peel the potatoes. I'm doing a hilarious job at this. They were really slippery. So it was kind of a tough, tough job. And then after peeling, which is my least favorite activity in the world of cooking, you have to just chop the potatoes. You wanna just make them all like relatively the same size, one inch cubes, I guess. Again, I'm not a chef. <laughs> I like cooking, but I am not a chef. I am not great at this, but just chop them to your desire. You know, have fun with it. It's just a potato. The only thing is you really wanna make sure all of the potatoes are around the same size because when some potatoes don't cook, it's gross. And when they're hard, um, same thing with the carrots, you just peel them, you know, have a lot of fun with it. That one was adorable and small. And then, um, yeah, same thing with the carrots. You kind of want them all to be around the same size. So once you're done peeling all of them, I just chop them up. I kept them into discs or like circles, whatever you want to call them, but you could cut them smaller if you wanted to. I just really like carrots and I wanted them to be like bigger pieces. Um, so again, yeah, just like cut them however you like. I mean, I'm sure it says something specific in the recipe, but I kind of just went rogue on this one. And I started putting all of the vegetables into one big bowl to keep them out of the way because I wanted to do the veggies first and then the chicken on the cutting board so that I didn't have to, number one, dirty up two cutting boards. And number two, I didn't want to do the chicken first and then the veggies, obviously. So I'm just throwing them into a big bowl until I need them. Then here we go with the onion. I tried, to, <laughs> I tried two different methods here. This one was the one I see all over the place and like fancy people do it. I definitely did it wrong and I do not recommend trying at home like for people who are like me. It was just dangerous. Like figure out how to do it first before you just try it on your own. It was stupid. Um, and I also just did, <laughs> it was just like, look at me, I'm struggling. So for the other half of the onion, I went for my regular old school method of like not very cool or chef-like, but it works. It does the trick and that's all that matters. So chop up those onions. This one didn't actually make me cry that bad. So that's really good. That's a win. Um, yeah, just kind of, again, around the same size, chop them however you like. It's, it's an onion. Here we go with the chicken, trigger warning, raw meat. Didn't show you too much of it, but yeah, here it is. I was low-key traumatized by cutting it. So there's that. And then you have to add a little bit of flour. It's three tablespoons of flour. Um, uh, there I am reading it to try to figure out <laughs> how much I'm supposed to do, but I remember it was three tablespoons of flour. And then after that, you need to add the spices. I don't know why I'm taking so goddamn long to read this. I thought I cut this out. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, you add the flour. There you go, Vicky, you got it. And then once you add the flour, you add the seasonings. Again, like I said earlier, she had like way different spices on her recipe. Not way different, but like she also had real garlic. I just used the lazy type because I'm lazy and it's all I had. And I kind of just wanted to like go off of the things that I already had and just buy what I needed. I did some garlic granules as well, just to add that extra garlic because I love garlic and obviously some pepper. I didn't even add salt, but I might add it to taste um, after when I like, am, when it's done and I, just check to see if I need it. She had like a bay leaf as well, which would give it a bunch of flavor. I just didn't feel like buying a whole thing of bay leaves just for this, so I didn't. And one of my friends has a really funny story about bay leaves that kind of made me traumatized from them as well. Um, and then I added a little bit of olive oil because originally in this recipe, you're supposed to brown the chicken. Um, you don't have to, it's not like unsafe not to, but I just didn't. So I, um, and with that, you would use a little bit of olive oil. So I just added it in here. Um, I guess it would probably, again, make it more flavorful, but I didn't want to. It was just an extra step that I didn't want to do. So there I am, just mixing up the chicken with the flour. Sorry if that grosses you out, it also grosses me out. And then I added the garlic here. I kind of just, again, went rogue with it, like added as much as I wanted to, and mix that in with um, the rest of the chicken and the seasoning, flour, all of that fun stuff. 
and then I added all the veggies. So I was like, how is this all going to fit into the crock pot? But it fit perfectly. I mean, it was right to the brim, but it fit. So that's all that matters. And then we just mix that up, you know? This, honestly, I had to switch utensils because this spatula was not structurally sound enough to do the job. It could not move the cargo the way that it needed to be moved. So as you can see, clearly. <laughs> so I needed to switch to a little bit of a stronger spoon, which you will see in a second. And then I just mix it around until it was all kind of evenly spread out. Here we go, stronger spoon. Still not doing a great job, but better than the spatula. Um, look at those gorgeous veggies. And after, I mean, I'll show you guys this in a little bit, but after it's all done cooking, you add some frozen peas and a little bit of milk to make it a bit creamy, add some more veggies, but you don't add that until the last like 15 minutes of cooking. So for now, it's just gonna be low and slow for like seven or eight hours. Um, with all of these veggies and chicken and spices and a little bit of broth. I didn't have broth, like I said earlier, I just had chicken or veggie stock. So I added that with some boiling water here um, into, I just did three cups of water to two or three veggie cubes or stock cubes, sorry. So hopefully that tastes good. I honestly, obviously like I didn't want to put it in and then taste it with raw chicken in the, in the mix. So. It's going to be a complete mystery until later this evening to see if the the stew is good, if the stew is stewing. So I just mixed up the cubes, as you can see here, in some water, and then we pour it in and let the crock pot do its job. These crock pots, man, slow cookers, whatever you want to call them, they're fantastic. All day, all I had to do was this prep, which like, it probably took me like 40 minutes. Like it wasn't like super quick, but it wasn't hard by any means. And then you just leave it all day. It makes your apartment smell great. And then it's done for you at dinner time, which is fantastic. So here we just pour the stock in. I literally splashed it everywhere, boiling hot water. Um, oops, <laughs> but I kept most of it in the, in the slow cooker. So that's all that matters. Um, added it all in there. And then we're done for seven hours. We just turn it to low and add the cover and let it simmer and cook and smell delicious for the rest of the day. Okay, it is finally lunchtime. I am actually starving, so I need to eat this right now. But I've got a steaming hot bowl of spaghetti, which is so nice to like, I just love leftovers and I love meal prepping. I know like my sister, for example, she does not really like leftovers. She's not a leftover girl. But I made this a couple days ago and there's no way I would be eating spaghetti at lunchtime if I didn't prep it in advance, if I didn't make it a couple days ago. And now I just get to have a big, nice hot bowl of spaghetti. Well. I don't know if you can call it spaghetti. I made the sauce a couple days ago. It was like, it's like a tomato based sauce with like ground turkey and I put kale, mushrooms and zucchini in it and like just some other spices and stuff. And then I just boiled some noodles today and it feels kind of fresh cause I like boiled the noodles today. And then I also just like heated it up on the stove top instead of in the microwave like I normally do. Um, oh, and there's mushrooms in here too. I don't know if I said that. And now it's just gonna be delicious. And then I put a little bit of cheese on it and I think the last time I, I haven't really been like tracking food or anything, but I wanted to, to know how much protein was in this for you guys and for me. And there's like with the cheese and the sauce. Oh, and there's also cottage cheese in the sauce. Um, so all of that together, I think this is like 45 grams of protein per serving, which is amazing. Mm. And it's still so good. Lots of veggies and just so delicious me eating this with a white blanket on is really stupid but i'm cold um yeah so that's my lunch done and made the slow cooker stew um smells so good right now i checked it like an hour in and the chicken didn't look like it was cooked at all obviously but it like freaked me out i'm just like honestly cooking that chicken was low-key traumatizing not cooking cutting that chicken i haven't had to cut a piece of raw meat or a piece of raw chicken in a long time and i remembered why i haven't done that in a long time you know what i'm not afraid to say it i am not made to cut dead animals sorry trigger warning i just like that's why i don't really eat them that much i like order it out sometimes like i don't eat red meat but i eat chicken and like i eat poultry and i eat fish i do not like cutting it and touching it and manhandling it it's just not for me it's gross and sad 
me while I'm eating ground turkey. <laughs> that is different though. I don't have to manhandle that at all. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and continue on doing some work, put a little YouTube video on in the background. And I'm definitely gonna be wanting like a snack or a sweet treat this afternoon because I can't help myself. So I'll check in with you then. I say check in with you way too often. Oh my God, do I have spaghetti sauce on me or is that a pimple? <laughs> Um, I'm definitely gonna want like a sweet treat with some tea this afternoon, I think. So I will catch up with you guys when I do that, but I'm just gonna continue eating this and drinking my water and working for now. Also, when I bought this, not to say that I'm like, you know, starting a trend or anything, but I had no idea that these were like starting to become really huge on TikTok. When I went into work, Everyone was commenting on my water bottle and everyone's like, oh my God, where's that from? I need it. And then some people were like, I've seen that all over TikTok. I just saw a video last night about how to clean it. And I'm like, what the hell? I had never heard of it before. And all my friends said that too. But anyway, it's a great water bottle, Owala. And apparently my coworker actually told me this yesterday because she asked me for like how many ounces this was and stuff because she wanted to buy one for herself. And she was checking on Amazon and they were pretty expensive. And it's way cheaper to buy direct from the company. So Owala, O-W-A-L-A. And this is obviously not sponsored, <laughs> but I just really like it. And it, those ice cubes are still from last night. I mean, I've refilled the water, but the ice cubes are still from last night. Crazy. Love that. Okay, I'm still in the exact same spot, doing the exact same thing, just working, but I really wanted to have a tea and I wanted to I haven't had any caffeine yet today so I made myself an English breakfast tea which does have a little bit of caffeine in it but I wanted to have it before it was too late to have caffeine um and I'm still like so full from my spaghetti <laughs> so I don't really feel like eating anything sweet right now but I wanted just like like it just a taste of something sweet so I just took a little handful of Scandinavian swimmers which I'm still working through from the pack I got from Trader Joe's I mean, like, sour candy and tea don't really go together, but <laughs> while I'm waiting for this to cool down enough to drink, I'm just going to have a few little candies to satisfy that craving because I really wanted something. But yeah, I'm full. So I didn't want to have, like, a snack or anything right now. Um, I'm sure I will later. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to drink my tea and hopefully it warms me up. It is really hot. <laughs> the tea, not myself. I am fucking freezing right now. The insulation in these old buildings in England is non-existent and our heating, like, it's just, it's just an interesting situation. I actually, I mean, I have not turned on the heating yet, so I'm I should, like, I could just do that, <laughs> but I like to go through all other measures first. And honestly, if I just like, even in the summer when I would be working from home, sometimes I would just if you're sitting still for like hours at a time, you're gonna get cold because you're not moving. You're not like warming up your body at all. Um, but yeah, that is my little spiel. I'm gonna have this little whale. Not the influencer hand to show you my candy, but these are so good. And my, sorry for talking with my mouth full. My crock pot. Our slow cooker meal is smelling real good now. I still have three and a half hours on it. So actually I only set the alarm for seven hours, but I might do eight hours because that'll bring me to like around seven. And then at the, like 7 p.m. <laughs> and then at the eight hour mark, like at the, when it's done cooking, you have to turn it on to high and add in the frozen peas and a little bit of milk and mix that around for another like 15 or 20. So. I'm gonna just do that, let it cook until like 7 p.m. and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients and eat it whenever I feel hungry for dinner tonight. So that's so nice. It's just like slow cookers, man. Amazing invention. It is so dark out already and I'm just getting off of work, which is, you know, just the winter time, I suppose. But I lit my little, I can't really see it, but I lit my little like snowman candle, I'll show you, um, to bring out my spirits, you know? Because if it's gonna be dark, at least I can have a snowman candle on. So we've got that going, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of meal prep, just get it done. Not even meal prep, but just like prepping my my breakfast, my lunch, and snacks and stuff for the office day tomorrow. Um, just because I like to have that done. It's not gonna be anything exciting or revolutionary because I don't have the energy, the time, or the want to do that. 
but I am gonna make overnight oats for the morning and um, if I go to the gym as planned tomorrow morning, then I usually like work out, come back, shower, and then eat my breakfast before I go to work. It's one less thing to carry and I like to like eat within a certain amount of time after working out because number one, I'm really hungry after I finish working out and number two, I just, yeah, like based on the things that they've said, you, it's best to get your protein in within like a certain amount of time after working out. I mean, I don't think it's a make or break, especially because I'm not an athlete, like an actual professional athlete, but I just like to do what I like to eat. Um, and I'm hungry in the morning, which is a good sign. That is a good sign. So anyway, I don't know why I decided to do that, that little spiel. Also, sorry, I've been wearing the same thing all day, but this is a what I eat in a day. And I haven't really left my apartment since my run this afternoon. So I'm still in my little cozy Nashville sweater that my sister got me. And I'm, um, yeah, I don't know why I, I'm like, my brain is all over the place, but I'm gonna make overnight protein oats for the morning. And then I'm gonna make like a tuna and rice bowl for lunch, which is like pretty much just gonna be tuna, rice and spinach and some sauce. And if I, I don't really have like that many other veggies and I didn't wanna, I just didn't wanna go get more. So it'll be fine. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be for lunch. And then I don't know what I'm gonna have for snacks, but we'll figure that one out. Okay, I'll spare you the time lapse that you've seen a million times, but I'm just gonna do yogurt. I usually do about 100 grams of this, which is 100 grams, 10 grams of protein, and then protein powder, tried and true. You saw it this morning. Um, again, this is 22 grams, so we're already at 32. And then a little bit of almond milk, Scottish oats, a little bit of honey because I'm out of maple syrup, but I much prefer maple syrup in it. And some frozen berries, just cause they like melt overnight and get kind of like just nice and like soupy. And then also just a little bit of cinnamon and that's literally it, just mix it all together. I do about, like I said, a hundred grams of yogurt and then usually around like 25, 30 grams of oats and then a scoop of protein powder and everything else I just kind of eyeball with like the fruit and the honey and the cinnamon and this as well. I just kind of use the almond milk until it's like the consistency that I want. I don't like it to be like too thick um, because then it just kind of feels like you're eating like, I don't know, something like, it's just not super pleasant and I want it to be pleasant and I want to enjoy what I'm eating. So I'm just gonna put that together and then we'll work on lunch for tomorrow. Okay, next meal is 0% glamorous, but it's not all glamour over here. I know you would think it is, but it's not. Um, but it's literally just for lunch, I'm gonna have half a thing of rice, of microwavable rice. Um, and one full can of tuna, some spinach, and I'm gonna add sweet chili sauce. I usually alternate between sweet chili or something of this vibe or like a mustard and hot sauce kind of vibe. But this time, tomorrow, I'm feeling like sweet chili sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna literally put that all together in one container, call that my lunch, have my breakfast made, and then we'll put a couple snacks together. What I think I'm gonna do is I have these like little rice cakes, like chocolate covered rice cakes. So I'm gonna have those as a little snack. And then I'm also gonna do um, like a cottage cheese and granola for an afternoon snack because I love that. And I just always want something like sweet and fun. And just like, usually I get really hungry at work in the afternoon, like really snacky. And the protein, or sorry, the cottage cheese with the protein granola that I have is super filling. So we'll put that together after I make lunch. And there is lunch made, breakfast, lunch, and snacks for the office day tomorrow. I just mixed up a little bit of honey and cinnamon in the um, in the cottage cheese for a little snack. And then I added, or I put a little bit of granola in a container to add to that for the afternoon. I used this granola, which is really good. It's the M&S High Protein Choco Crunch. And for like one serving, it has 10 grams of protein um, in the granola and then also with the cottage cheese. So that'll be a nice protein snack. I know I talk about protein so much. <laughs> I'm not actually like psychotic about it, I just, the, like the more I learn about it and like how it makes me feel also like eating a higher protein diet makes me feel a lot better and because I don't eat red meat and I don't eat like a lot of meat anyway I find it interesting and like fun to try to find like easy ways to get protein in and like I love yogurt I love cottage cheese I love tofu I really like chicken I just don't like cooking it evidently but um yeah so that's my lunch I have the tuna and rice bowl here with some sauce 
have my breakfast for the morning, my overnight oats, my cottage cheese and granola, and then some mini chocolate rice cakes. Sorry, I have laundry and dishes going right now as well. But there's my lunch and snacks and all of that ready and done. And we're ready for an office day tomorrow. I'm about to taste test my stew. It's more like a soup consistency, a eh, hybrid between a soup and a stew. You could add more flour if you wanted to thicken it, but I kind of like it this, this consistency, so I'm happy. I obviously had to like find a piece of big chicken and rip it apart to make sure I'm not gonna get salmonella. It's been cooking for over eight hours, so I think I'm fine, but you never know. You can't be too safe. <laughs> but it smells delicious, and I added the frozen peas and the milk to it just to like follow the recipe but also just add like a little bit of creaminess some more green veg we're gonna try it got a spoon of everything chicken potato all the veggies mm. Mm. everything's so like soft and yummy oh it is giving me stew vibes I think potatoes kind of always give me stew vibes. I used to love my dad's stew. Mmm. This is so perfect for winter. I feel like even with them, um, like I omitted a couple of like spices and stuff that she put in. With everything that she added, it would be like extra flavorful and delicious. I didn't even add like one pinch of salt, which I know is probably blasphemous, but I don't love salt and the chicken stock or the veggie stock obviously has sodium in it and then like I don't know with everything else and all the other spices doesn't need it for me definitely doesn't need it mmm mmm the chicken is so good and carrots I haven't had carrots in so long I'm gonna keep eating this and I'm on the third Harry Potter movie of my marathon so I'm on the prisoner of Azkaban now and I'm gonna watch that do a little bit more work on my computer and then go to bed early and I have all my stuff done all ready for tomorrow so I just need to you know get ready for bed oh well I'm definitely gonna have dessert later tonight I can feel it in my bones but after that I'll be going to sleep oh, what a nice productive work from home day what I eat in a day love it this is so good you guys need to make it and so easy Okay, that stew, soup, whatever you want to call it, was so good. And I ate it, just watched a little bit of Harry Potter, and then I was on the phone with my sister for a little while. So it's like an hour, hour and a half later. But I obviously want something sweet now. It's definitely tea time. I am straight up addicted to the Celestial Seasonings, the Sugar Slay Cookie. It slays. <laughs> No, it's actually so good. Like I'm actually addicted to it. I have this, I'm almost done. And then I bought two more boxes of it yesterday or the day before because I'm like, I can't run out. Like that's not a tea I can run out of this year. And I want something like warm, but chocolatey. I have a little bit of a chocolate bar left, but I forgot I have this and I haven't had it in months. It's protein mug cake. And you just put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it's like warm. And then I'm gonna melt a little bit of my Terry's chocolate orange chocolate bar on top and have like a little protein mug cake to cap off the night. My sugar cookie, tea, and my protein mug cake. So excited. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see me because I have it on the back camera right now and I have the flash on so it's blinding me, but I'm just finishing up this video, finishing editing and all of that. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and the love that I've been getting on the last couple of videos, it's just been really nice. 
And if you feel so inclined to like the video, comment down below, share, it really, really helps my channel get shown to like more people. And yeah, I would just appreciate it if you do like it to, you know, share, like, let me know and comment down below what you wanna see next from me. I am thinking about doing Vlogmas, at least like 12 days of Vlogmas. So hopefully that will be coming up. And I'm thinking about changing my schedule as well to two days a week hoping to do that. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.